Hey, this is Mike. I'm just checking out this 2015 Ram 1500. Now this is the uh, the SLT with the Bighorn package and uh, really good trim level, gives you a lot of features. Um, it's not the real high-end packages and it's not the cheapos, but um, this one is uh, in granite. The color is granite and it is pretty dirty, but you can't really tell because of the color. The color kind of hides a lot of dirt. So, just kind of show you this. Uh, here's the wheels. Um, it does have the 20 inch wheels, but they do have a, a chrome cladding, which is a plastic cover. And, and it's plastic over aluminum alloy. And, uh, you know, a lot of that's, that's pretty common nowadays, but I just want to point it out that it is not actual like metal chrome, it is a chrome cladding. So, here in the front, you've got your quad halogen headlights and fog lights down there you have these little circles right here which are the parking sensors which you have parking sensors on the front and back on this particular truck this has the 5.7 liter Hemi and the 8 speed transmission Right, let's take a look here in the back. This one has no bed liner, but you can get a spray in bed liner for these trucks. It's got the dual exhaust, and uh, let me go ahead and start it up. This one does have remote start, and so let me go ahead and start it up here. So back here, we've got your, your parking sensors, there's those little circles there on the bumper, and uh, towing package, right there, and then you've got your plugs here, there, and there, and then you've got a big ram head there in the center of the tailgate. You have a backup camera, that little lens right there, the big horn badge, which is pretty cool. And when you lock and unlock the doors, it will lock and unlock the tailgate. So I'm going to go ahead and push the button, unlock the tailgate. Drop that down so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Here in the bed, you've got some, some tie downs there on all four corners. And, you know, two fingers. I mean, it's really easy to lift up and drop the tailgate. It's uh, it's not very heavy. It does look big and heavy, but it's very light for what it looks like anyway. There's the fuel cap. And uh, so this is the crew cab truck, which gives you the full size back door. Go ahead and look in here. Here's the inside of the back door. You've got like a two, like a two-tone, a gray and black two-tone interior. You got kind of like a shelf system here, a uh, little pocket there and there at the bottom. You got a speaker in the door, your power window control there, and then you've got a uh, this little like a metal trim around here. And here's the seats, are gray gray cloth, and uh, underneath the seat is there's two things one is this fold flat feature where you can fold this out put stuff back here so you don't in case you don't want to put stuff in the back of the truck but underneath that is a storage pocket there and speaking of storage under here on the mat on both sides of the vehicle you have a uh, little storage bin right in the floor so it's pretty good size has a, uh, a little liner so you can pull it out and empty it and put it back in. That's on both side, on the other side of the truck too. So you got a lot of storage back here that's kind of out of the way and you don't really know it's there actually if you, if you don't know it. This folds down and you've got uh, cup holders as well as an armrest. 
you got some more cup holders there and then you've got this uh, you know power supply here also you have vents here and here now one thing I want to show you on the other side is it has the storage underneath the seats on both sides you see there it's got the storage on both sides now if you have a vehicle that has a alpine sound system this will be filled in with a subwoofer and then you see it has the the, the pocket the uh, the storage there on the floor on this side as well and of course you got some some storage there in the back of the seat <clears throat> these are they do have the latch system for car seats right here so, uh, so you don't have to worry about that Alright, so we have a heated side mirror right here, as you can tell by the little symbol there. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up, unlock it again, get in here. And here's the inside of the driver's door. You've got pockets there, and uh, also a uh, you know, your door lock and window control, side mirror controls. You can also uh, fold in the side mirrors by pushing this button. folds them in and out just with a push of a button there it does have a power seat with lumbar support adjustment right here is your it does have automatic headlights it also has a cargo light and a dimmer switch for your for your interior lights you can dim them down the cargo light I'm going to go ahead and push that <clears throat> now I have a video at night time showing this uh, this feature, but you can see there there's two lights there on the top of the cab that shine down into the bed at night and it illuminates the the bed pretty well. So that's the uh, the cargo light there. So let me go ahead and hop in. So it says remote start active key to uh, active key to run. I don't know if that's correct English. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. But it basically what it's telling me is I have to take the key and put it in here and turn on the vehicle. Alright, so it does have a leather wrapped stitched steering wheel with a pretty decent thickness. And on the steering wheel on the right side is your cruise control right above that you can change the gear it does have an 8 speed transmission so once you if you need to like downshift or something like that you can you can adjust the gears here manually on the back of the steering wheel is a uh, right here where you got your hand like that you can adjust the volume And on this side of the back of the steering wheel, back here, you can change to the stations. Or change to the tracks, whatever you want to change there. Also, on the left side of the steering wheel, let me turn the volume down. On the left side of the steering wheel in the front, you've got, this does have Bluetooth control, Bluetooth, to where you can pair a, your phone to the system and make and, re and receive calls with this button here. And you have a voice recognition button here to where you can push that button and um, you know like say call a certain person tune to a certain station and uh, you know all kinds of different uh, commands there so and it's it's one of those things where you know you kind of have to break the ice with the vehicle and kind of get used to how you um, you know say commands to the truck uh, because once you do that once you learn how to use it it's a very very useful uh, feature these arrows right here correspond you see the gauges here but right in the center of the gauges let me get a little closer is the screen and um, basically the screen you can see it has icons there here on the left 
you see right now it's in fuel economy but uh, but I can I can scroll down and there's a trip the trip is pretty cool because it gives you a distance average miles per gallon on that trip average miles per hour and the elapsed time of that trip so it's not just a regular you know mileage counter there's the second trip this is telling me what the radio is doing uh, storage messages will be here screen setup uh, you can go in the screen you can adjust right right now it has the, the compass where it says north there it has the outside temperature 52 degrees here you can change that you could put like a clock or you could put a distance to empty things like that scrolling down again uh, reveals your speedometer digital speedometer you already have your regular speedometer there but you can have your digital speedometer there if you want scrolling down again uh, this gives me the vehicle info right now it's showing the tire pressure but I can scroll to the right you see these little bubbles here at the top indicate that I have more stuff to look at so I can scroll through and see all kinds of temperatures and pressures on the vehicle in real time and then there's a gauge summary and uh, engine hours driving idle and, uh, and then it scrolls back to your uh, your tire pressure I'm going to scroll back up going back to the speedometer because that's kind of the default screen All right, let's take a look at this window sticker before I go too much further. You see this is a Bighorn Crew Cab 4x2, 2015. And you see that the, the Ram 1500 is built on the SLT uh, trim. And feel free, I'm going to put all this stuff in the description, but if you want to just look at it here, you can. Uh, just use the pause button to get any, if you want to pause it at a specific place and look at it. Alright, now let's go ahead and move on to the shifter. And the shifter, I'm going to go ahead and it's as simple as turning a knob. Just push, put it in reverse. Now, you notice all of a sudden it's beeping at me and all this stuff. Uh, you've got your parking sensors coming to life, front and back. And looking at the backup camera, which is here on the 8 inch screen, is showing that there's a vehicle right behind this one. Very, very close. But you notice it has these two lines here, and um, those are estimated trajectory of the vehicle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demo this feature right now. I can turn that beeping off right there. So it'll tell me that it's off so I don't accidentally hit something thinking it's on. But I just turn it off so I don't have to hear the beeping. So those lines there, I, when I turn the steering wheel, it's going to turn those wheels. The reason why is because it's telling me about where the truck's going to go if I continue to back up. So now, let me show you here. Since I turned off the parking sensor, it's showing me that the back one is off, but the front one's still active. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the front one. Just so you can see, park sense off. It's telling me a vehicle not in park because I have the door open, but let me go ahead and do that stuff. So it's just basically uh, the park sense is completely off with both of them. So let me go ahead and turn the front back on and the back back on. So now it's beeping again. So let me go ahead and put it in neutral and drive. So it's pretty easy to change gears. I mean, it's it's very simple there. You just you know turn the knob. Uh, there's no shifter anymore on these particular because with the eight-speed transmission is a electric it shifts through the gears electrically, and it doesn't even have to shift through all eight gears. It can skip gears if needed. So it's a very smart transmission. Up here, got a little storage pocket, little quick access storage pocket there. Now this is the UConnect 8.4 inch UConnect screen. And this one can be upgraded with a navigation uh, option. This one doesn't have it from the factory, but you can pay some money. I forget how much it is, but you can pay to uh, basically have... I'm going to turn the heat down because it's getting hot. You can pay to have the navigation added to this screen. Just want to let you know in case you want that. But The first icon is basically a bunch of icons here at the bottom, just like a computer. The first icon is the radio, which we're in now. And it has satellite radio, AM, FM. You can have your presets there at the top, tune through the stations. Pushing media 
um, this is where you will be able to play music through your Bluetooth phone if you have your Bluetooth phone paired USB port auxiliary port also an SD card input and uh, I'll show you those where those are in just a minute controls uh, this is where you go into your settings or you can turn off your auto dim rear view mirror climate this is where you can adjust your 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 temperature where you want the air to blow your fan speed all that good stuff or you can just turn it off like that and you see it's got that ram background which is pretty cool phone this is where you pair your phone once you pair it all this will kind of come to life your phone book recent calls you can make dial uh, a keypad will pop up here so you can make calls there um, now one cool feature you have favorites at the top one cool feature is if you're in the middle of a call and you want to transfer it back to your cell phone you hit the transfer button and then that way if you got a you know call that you don't want anybody else to hear in the vehicle or whatever then you can just you know hit transfer goes back to your your cell phone and, and you're good to go you connect uh, apps uh, once you register there's some pretty cool pretty cool things here one thing is a Wi-Fi hotspot now some of these are paid services and but I just want to show you something here where it says via mobile on some of these apps that's actually using the cell phone your cell phone once you pair it for the data for those apps so it will use cell phone data so uh, you just want to be aware if you have some kind of limited cell phone data package that you know may be running up your bill if you're not you know if you're not know if you don't know it you're using it like that so um, it's pretty cool you know you can uh, download more apps and stuff <clears throat> so that's the you know the main points there of the screen down here you have some redundant buttons and, uh, and knobs here volume you already had that on the steering wheel but there's a, another way of doing your volume tune to the station um, also you can turn the screen off with this button here this is your four-way flashers down here is your uh, you know your climate control fan speed temperature where you want the air to blow and all that stuff uh, traction control you can turn that off tow and haul if you're hauling something heavy you want to push that and, um, and that way it tells the transmission to shift appropriately and the parking sensors front and rear like I showed you before you can turn those off independently down here is a little pocket there there's a big storage area a place to put some business cards or whatever power supply there cup holders nice place to put some pins or something there now this is your armrest, and it's also a big center console, and it has this uh, embossed um, rim there in the middle, which is cool. Now this is kind of like clamshell. It opens up. You got a little place to put coins, place for a tablet or a phone or maybe a small laptop in here. And this is where your SD card, USB auxiliary ports are. Uh, to play music through the system with those ports. You also have a USB charger there as well This whole thing lifts up and in here you've got a nice big Like stuff to just throw anything you want it's a huge compartment here and you can put a bunch of stuff in there tools or whatever now one thing about these compartments they have these little grooves here so wires can go in and out of these compartments without pinching them and that way if you have something in here you can run the wire out to plug it in over here or you can run it up to this compartment which has the grooves there on the side here and here to plug it in to these ports so it's a pretty smart idea over here got a little cubby hole goes in there pretty good this is a uh, 150 volt AC adapter plugging in stuff got a compartment there you also have a compartment here auto dim rear view mirror now there's buttons it says assist and 911 you push the 911 button it's gonna pop up on the screen and let you know you have a few seconds to cancel it just in case you accidentally touched it <coughs> excuse me assist this is where you can push that button for roadside assistance you can also push it to uh, get an operator to register your Uconnect apps. So that's a pretty cool feature. Up here, this is your, um, basically your, your garage door openers. This is a 
uh, this button here, if you can see it, that is your powered glass back there. And right above that, some tap lights. The visor has mirrors and lights. Same thing on that side. All right. Now I forgot to mention there's a uh, little, there's a storage place here on the side of the center console on both sides, on this side here, in this side, and it's designed to fit a full size file folder. So like say if you get in the vehicle and you got some kind of papers in your hand or some kind of literature, mail or whatever it's you can just put it right in there and that's completely out of your way and that's one of the thing about the ram trucks they have, they're really thought out really good as far as um you know having place to put stuff because you know it kind of gets cluttered in a car if you don't really have a good storage system so let's go ahead and take on take a look under the hood <clears throat> see what that engine looks like So just here to the right of the center is this little latch. All right, there it is, 5.7 liter V8. Uh, you get the actual seal a little bit of it, just despite them trying to hide it with that big plastic cover. You've got an insulated battery. All right, there you have it. If you have any questions, have anything to add, if you have any experience with one of these trucks, uh, let us know in the comments. I think everybody will really appreciate it. I know I will. All right, see you next time. I appreciate you watching. If you could, like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel, and maybe even follow me on Facebook if you want. Anyway, appreciate you watching. See you next time.